Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on the latest Roblox Studio beginner tutorial that will show you how you can fix max collisions for your models in Roblox Studios. Now, what can often occur? The same thing I have here. As you can see, I have a complex mesh or complex part or a combination of parts right here, but around it is a very uncomplex collision mesh. So if I go to it and jump on it, I get this. So there is a box collision and you can often get the same thing in your game. So even though the object clearly is not anything like this, around it is basically a box mesh that connects its top elements. In this case, these kind of peaks right here into a singular mesh collision. How to change that? Well, with your object selected, in this case it's a union, you need to go into project details or your explorer, select the same object, you can do it even in your viewport, and then once you have it selected under properties, which you can again activate right here, both the explorer and properties in your top left corner, in your properties you need, for, you need to search for collision. And as you can see under collisions it can collide is active so your players or other other objects won't pass through the objects but the important thing is collision fidelity here is the explanation determines the level detail of part physics will adhere to its mesh and now it's under box it's usually going to be under default but what you're looking for actually is precise convex composition with that selected the game engine will try to follow as best as it can the actual geometry of the mesh itself, its surfaces, and this is how it looks like. Here I am in the game itself, and now once I get to the same object, as you can see, my player character follows it. Again, it won't be perfect, there will be some overlap, for example, here where the engine can kind of calculate where your player is at, but as you can see, it's pretty, pretty precise and the actual surfaces are now under correct collisions so once again you go into your object or whatever mesh it might be go into your properties search for collision or scroll to collision and under collision fidelity you are choosing precise convex decomposition to get the same collision precise collision effect Pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Hopefully this tutorial was useful to you. Hopefully it will be able to help in your project. So thanks for watching. If you'd like to support me, please check out my Patreon page. Please check out my channel memberships and please check out my books on Amazon. The links to all of these, actually just one book, but my Patreon and of course my channel memberships are in the description below or below the video. So do check them out. But of course the cheapest, easiest, fastest way to support me, simply subscribe to my channel and be here for my new tutorials. That's all for me, my name is Ivica, thanks for being here, have a great day, have loads of fun in your Roblox Studio adventures, and I'll see you on my next tutorial. Until then, goodbye!